Okay, basically what I'm doing here is I want to show you guys how I've been powering my computer up. It's just like, I'm going to try to make it as fast as I can. I might, I might edit it down a little bit so you guys don't have to wait through all this nonsense. But, <clears throat> alright, so, what, first thing I'm going to do is, this is, <clears throat> this video is for the CMOS, either, either the CMOS battery seek failure, the power failure button, which is right here, you know, the power button, it blinks amber, and I'll show you that shortly, or some kind of power source failure, or a floppy diskette, you know, I've read a lot of different things, but anyhow, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the computer off, and I'm going to show you the problem that I've been having. So, I'm going to shut, shut her down, okay, everything, everything works good, you know, it shuts down properly, okay, so, um, <clears throat> now, see it says Windows is shutting down, you know, now just so you know, I want everyone to know I've had this problem for about uh, easily eight months, easily. And I've been doing the same thing. I either A, leave the computer turned on, or B, I will turn it, I'll power it off when it, when it sounds like it's getting overworked, and then I'll power it back up using this technique. So I'm going to show you exactly what I do right now. Okay. First thing I do when the computer's off, everything's powered off. The button is off. And then there's a little light over there. It's a green power light. Okay, you'll see this. Now, I'm going to show you how to make it disappear. Since, since I already powered the computer off, I just pull the plug right out of the wall. But you'll still see that light on. Okay? You wait about 10 seconds, maybe 15. And then I take a pair of tweezers like this okay now you're gonna slowly see that fade out right now see it okay so it's gone I'm gonna try to get some more light in here so you can kinda of see a little better okay so what I do here is let me try to flip it so you can see a little You should notice that little circular thing in there directly to the top of that. That's the CMOS battery there, that silver shiny thing. Now, I take my tweezers and I take this thing out. It's a little green thing, a little green uh, with three prongs in it, see, and that goes on, there's three pins over here, right next to that battery, you can't really see them with this lighting, I'm not sure, you can probably just barely see them right there, what I'll do is I'll turn the light on the camera, so you can see it. Okay, that's better. Nice Einstein move there. And, okay. So, see there's the battery, and there's the three pins right above it. See? One, two, three, to the right. There's three pins there. So I take this pin, after I powered it off, make sure the plug's out of the wall. And then, 
I just move it over two pins. You basically just move it over one pin. See how it's it's not. And then I push it in with my finger, making sure it's not plugged in. And then I just plug this back in. Okay. And you'll see that light come back on. See the green light? And it's as simple as this. You don't even have to wait. I'm going to just unplug this from the wall again. And then you'll see that light go off in about 10 to 15 seconds. And once you see that light go off, and about there it goes. Basically, you, you make sure you. Okay, so I already unplugged it like you saw. Then you take that clip out again, right here, <clears throat> and you basically move it back to the original spot. And you try, you gotta be really careful. You don't wanna bend those pins, and you don't wanna touch the motherboard. And my hands are a little shaky, so sometimes I feel like I touch stuff, but. So basically that's it, right? Now watch this. When I plug it in, <clears throat> you'll see the light in the front blinking orange, right? If you have any power supply on, like even the speakers to the computer, it won't power up. So you if you if you hit see it powered right up, see? Now it sometimes it hesitates. Now see it power right up. Now this is what happens. Now, and then I get the floppy diskette. Uh, I should say it. Yeah, it says floppy diskette seek failure, and I think I found a fix to that. In the um, in the settings, you go to the drives and disable floppy diskette internal floppy just turn it off save and escape and just press F1 I've been doing this for about eight months because I still haven't fixed it but anyone with a computer like this if you have any recommendations for me send me a reply so I can fix it and hopefully maybe this will help some people out so you can turn your computer back on basically that's all you do and then you put the lid back on as you know it's not as bad as the red rings of death but you're back up and running I hope that helped you out